This is the kind of line Beijingers stand in outside in the cold to get their COVID tests. A 48 hour test is required to get into most places. But there aren't many places to go. Much of Beijing is still closed down. This is one of the most popular tourist places in the city, but the restaurants are largely closed and the malls are pretty empty. So this McDonald's is still open, but for takeaway only. But even to get takeaway, you've got to prove that you're clear of COVID. And here's how I do it. I open up the health app on my smartphone. I scan the QR code. So it says I've got a green code and I've got a recent COVID test, so I'm good to go. This code dictates all of our daily lives in China. Green means good to go. Red means I may have to isolate at home or go to a mass quarantine facility. This allows China to track the movements of virtually all 1.4 billion people in the name of contact tracing. I've got to scan my code to get into a taxi, a public park, a mall, or a coffee shop, even a public bathroom. I ran into a group of delivery people on the street. They've got to do COVID tests every single day to do their jobs. This woman tells me the pandemic has been hard on her. I ask her why. She says it's because she's scared of the virus. Getting COVID in China is unlike anywhere else in the world. You and your close contacts all get sent to a quarantine center. This is a convention center in Beijing that's been turned into a massive quarantine facility with thousands of beds. But some of these facilities in the country, they are in very rundown and unsanitary condition. And then your whole building or community could go into lockdown. I spoke to a man who's been in and out of quarantine six times already just this year. He tells me his whole building of more than 200 families went to a quarantine facility last month because they were considered close contacts. He says he's not scared to get COVID because Omicron is less severe and his whole family has been vaccinated. I approached a few people just released from this mass quarantine center here. I asked if they had tested positive for COVID. Yes, the man nods and says they have recovered. How many days did you spend in there? I asked. Seven days, he said. Unprecedented protests recently erupted across China. They're chanting that they don't want COVID tests. They want freedom. Authorities swiftly cracked down on the protesters, but they are finally softening their stance on zero COVID. Some cities are lifting lockdowns, changing COVID testing requirements. Under some conditions, people can now quarantine at home if they have COVID, which is a huge deal. But this country has already built up a whole infrastructure around zero COVID, spending all of its resources on quarantine facilities and COVID testing. So it's going to be a long and slow exit from zero COVID.